I guess you love movies. I do too. Hi guys. Well, it's been some time. Um, nine months, I believe, since my last video. Um, since then, a lot has occurred. Uh, I've gone to university, currently studying um, a film TV course, funnily enough. Um, it is uh, abruptly finished, obviously, due to current events. Um, you all know what's going on. I mean, I could say the word, because, you know, I don't really care if I get demonetised, because I have 136 subscribers, so who actually gives a shit? But, I'm not going to say it anyway. But yeah, the current uh, financial and uh, global situation with this current virus um, means that no films are on, um, universities are closed, shops are closed, everything has kind of just come to a halt. So, and uh, I've been bored recently, and I thought had an itch to make videos for the first time in a long time. Um, being at university meant I didn't really have time to do that. Um, and I'd kind of lost the bug for making videos anyway. Um, I felt like I wasn't really going anywhere with the channel. It's kind of getting a bit stale. But my videos weren't doing anything in terms of views. Um, and I had realised a certain pattern on my channel. So if you hadn't already realised, um, if you look through my channel, um, not that many of you would have done so, um, and understandably so, um, most of the videos that do best on my channel are classic movie reviews. Now, I wanted to do more of these videos. They, are, they always tend to do well. My best video that I've ever done on this channel in terms of views was Shane. I did, um, and I got 2.5k views, which is pretty good for a channel that's only got 136 subscribers now, let alone then, which is like two years ago. Um, so, I wanted to do more of those videos. I wanted to try and, um, obviously, I want to do the videos that the people, that you people want to watch. Um, the only issue is, is trying to find ways to consistently give you classic movie reviews and not get bored and stale on those particular videos. Because those videos were doing pretty well, they tended to get 100 views plus on more or less every single video. Um, some of them were doing upwards of 500 to 1000 views. Um, while my other videos were struggling to get into the mid, you know, get into around the 50 region. It was pretty rare that videos were doing that. Um, and that tended to be theatrical releases, films that get a lot of saturation on YouTube. Um, and since I've been gone for nine months, I'm sure that there's even more uh, high saturation of videos in theatrical releases. However, obviously, currently right now, there are no theatrical releases whatsoever because every theatre is shut. So I thought maybe this is a good time to try and get my channel back in terms of what made it work. The, the small parts of it that made it work, the bits that were more successful, were not theatre releases. They were films that maybe people hadn't seen, um, foreign films, or classic films. So I'm kind of thinking of rebranding this channel. It will still be called GPK Movies because my Instagram, which was actually created um, to become sort of a subsidiary um, in business terms <laughs> to this channel, um, it's called that, it's actually a lot more successful than this channel is, even though it's still stalling. Uh, I've been trying to get to a thousand followers for way, way too long. Don't really understand how it hasn't happened yet. Um, but please, if you do follow me on Instagram, go give me a thousand followers, that'd be lovely, I'm about 25 away. Um, but, yeah, so I haven't really been... Um, so it will be GPK Movie still, sorry, lost my train of thought. Um, but there's going to be a different content on this channel. I'm probably not going to make any theatrical release reviews at all. I just don't think that they really do anything for the channel at all. Um, unless there's um, some vid some movie maybe that isn't really getting any press. Um, some maybe a foreign film or an independent film that I've seen that I really like isn't really getting any um, coverage on, on the internet. I might give um, that a theatrical release review. But other than that, big films like Marvel movies, Disney films aren't really going to get any anything on this channel because... Simply, simply, I need a niche, and I don't think that reviewing really well-reviewed films where there are hundreds, if not thousands, of reviews on the internet is really going to make me stand out among the competition. So, think of doing um, a sort of unseen gems um, segment where I talk about movies, maybe foreign films, maybe older films, maybe films that are independent, um, American films, maybe, or from all over the world that maybe you haven't seen, and maybe you need, um, maybe you want to, you know expand your film horizons and maybe check out some movies that maybe you haven't heard of. So that would be where films like, um, for example, I've got The Conformist there by Bertolucci, or Rafifi possibly, could be unseen gems in the future. Also to try and be more, um, to try and put out as many classic movie reviews as I can. As I said, they are the movies that 
the other reviews that have done better on my channel. So films like Lawrence of Arabia, which I will watch through soon, because quarantine, it's three and a half hours long, actually like nearly three and a quarter hours long, three and three quarter hours long. So that's definitely be something that um, I'll be trying to look to do as well. There may also be a podcast on this channel coming maybe soon um, after the um, the summer break. Um, depends on the whole situation with um, the virus and obviously at university because they do have the capacity at the uni to try and you know do some proper sound recording so I may there may be a podcast with other people on this channel that's that is possible as well that's something I would like to do as well as sort of deep dives into movies that I really love films that I really want to um, get in depth with and talk about in detail um, kind of like my um, my favorite movie section except I want to try and keep these to be um, sort of less um, specific, uh, less sort of generic titles, films like Jaws and Indiana Jones and E.T., which didn't really do anything for me. Um, they kind of flopped in terms of views, what in comparison to something like Ikaru, which is a more niche sort of art house film by Kurosawa that did a little bit better. So trying to listen to the numbers a little bit more um, and bring some more interesting content, um, some more in-depth content. The only things that will be staying on this channel, as I said, will be classic movies, and I will be bringing you Blu-ray um, update videos as well. That's something I enjoy doing, um, and it does pretty well on the channel. My um, my uh, whole collection did about 700 views, somewhere around there, so um, that would be something that I'll also keep bringing you. Um, this all does depend, of course, on my university um, situation, depends on how much work I have to do, how much time I have, free time, um, and it probably won't be coming from here um, for too much longer if I do continue with this channel. This is a possible thing that will happen. I don't know how much time and effort I'm really going to be able to put into this, but I just want to give you guys an idea of my thoughts, my feelings, and possible um, situations that may occur um, if I do reboot, rebrand this channel, um, and the possible content that I may be giving you in the not-too-distant future. Um, hopefully all you guys are safe and, and doing okay, hopefully your family is all good, um, and you're enjoying some self-isolation, uh, trying to get some movies um, watched in that time, um, And but most importantly, I hope you're all healthy and Hopefully this gets sorted um, sooner rather than later. Um, but you may be seeing some more videos from me in the in the next few weeks, hopefully. Um, and um, hopefully you enjoyed this video, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Goodbye.